Tom Sawyer Perspectives helps you build strategic applications that reveal new patterns, unknown relationships, and hidden dependencies in your data. In this short demonstration, we are going to show you how to build a simple application using Tom Sawyer Perspectives. In this example, we assume that our data is stored in an Excel file. The data consists of employees with their name, salary, and who they report to. The goal of this example is to create an organizational chart of the data. The reporting relationship will be used to display the management hierarchy of our organizational chart. In Tom Sawyer Perspectives, you work primarily with the project designer. The project designer is what you use to describe the data you work with, how to access it, and how you want to visualize and interact with it. The first thing we need to do is create a new module for our personnel example and describe the data we work with in a schema. To express that the data consists of employees, we add a new element type to the schema. We'll call it employee. In the Excel file, every employee has an ID. We represent this by adding the corresponding attribute to the element type. Employees also have a first name and a last name. and a salary. Since salary is numeric, we can change the type from string to integer. Employees also have a manager, indicated by the ID of the manager. This is a reference to another employee's ID. We also indicate how to uniquely identify employees, in this case using the employee's ID. Once this is done, we need to indicate where the data is located in the data source. This is done by defining an integrator. You can choose from integrators that access the following types of data sources, database, Excel, text, and XML. You can also combine multiple data sources using a composite integrator. First, we need to point the integrator to our Excel file. If your data is stored in a database, you can also create the schema and the integrator by accessing the database schema directly. Next, we indicate where the data that we are interested in is located in the Excel file that contains the data. The data for employees is in the first Excel sheet, starting at the second row until the end of the file. The ID is in the first column of data, the first name in the second column, and so on. Once we are done, we can verify that we retrieved the correct data from our data source by previewing it. This shows the content of the data model as defined by the schema and the integrator. Now that we can access the data, we need to describe how to represent it graphically. You can choose from the following types of views, drawing, tree, table, and inspector. Any of these may be used to view or edit your data. Here we are going to use the drawing view to create an organizational chart of our employee data. To define how to represent the data in our view, we use rules. In our case, we specify that we want each employee to be represented by a rectangle labeled with the name of the employee. In Tom Sawyer Perspectives, this is done by adding a node and setting its properties so that it displays the name of the employee. We give it the ID suggested by the project designer. This small expression indicates that the ID of the node is based on the ID of the employee, ensuring that each employee is represented by its own node. Next, we set the node properties. We use our expression language to indicate that we want to display the names and salaries of the employees. The expression editor gives you access to the data model you defined, as well as several functions to manipulate the data. There are many functions available. Each has a description and an example. 
With this expression, we combine the first name, last name, and salary of an employee. Let's place the salary on the second line. We will also indicate that we want the size of the rectangle to be based on the text content. Next, we indicate that we want to represent employee-manager relationships by a line between the employee's manager and the employee. This is done by adding what we call an edge. We'll add the edge only for employees who have a manager by using a condition. The edge refers to the node identifiers we introduced when we specified how to represent employees. The project designer guides you by suggesting which identifiers to use and refer to. Now we are ready to see our organizational chart data. We open the preview and click the update button to retrieve the data from the Excel file. As you can see, Tom Sawyer Perspectives places the employees automatically using the layout feature. The toolbar at the top of the drawing view can be customized with your own actions. The default toolbar provides common navigation items such as zooming and panning, and also lets you select from different layout styles. These layout styles emphasize different properties in your data. The styles available are circular, orthogonal, symmetric, and hierarchical. This does not look quite like an organizational chart yet. The lines representing the reporting structure should be made of vertical and horizontal segments instead of being straight. So let's go back to the drawing definition and change some of the layout settings. There are many parameters you can adjust to refine the result. Here we will change the edge routing style. Let's preview again. We now have the expected output. You can also use conditional actions to set object properties. Let's change the color of employees earning a salary that is greater than $10,000 per month. For those nodes, we will set the color to orange. Let's preview again. Now we see the expected result. Once you have finished creating your project, you can integrate it into your application by writing only a few lines of code. We also provide the Project Viewer, a ready-to-use application that you can distribute to your users, allowing you to deploy your project without writing code. This example illustrated only a fraction of what you can do in Tom Sawyer Perspectives. You can also build powerful applications with multiple views, giving your users new insight into the large datasets they work with. This concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching.